Hey there everyone, welcome to the series Automate the Boring Stuff in ANSYS Mechanical. In today's video, we will be looking at analysis and analysis. Both are not same. So one is plural, one is singular. First we will see the plural analysis. So to access analysis or the list of all the analysis within your uh, mechanical. Uh, so you can first go to the entry point which is CXTAPI dot data model dot project dot model dot analysis so this is the plural one you will see i have only one analysis singular within the list of analysis uh, plural so not to be confused so this is ses and this is sis and there is one more way so as you know in the latest version of ansys we, are, we can access the model object directly so it will be model dot analysis so this is another way to do that there is one more way in which you can just type extapi our entry point dot data model dot analysis list so here also you will get the same thing you can access by whatever uh, means you like okay so i like this one because most of the things uh, we access are under this model parent uh, or the, in the project tree you access the model object so this i prefer the most right so here you get only one analysis to access that singular analysis you can pass through the index you will see you are getting the analysis let's say you want to add analysis or uh, you instead now you are in static structure you want to add a model analysis so you can just go to model dot add model analysis so you this is a function it returns an analysis so it will add an analysis but i just want to add it into a variable so that i can also delete it later and once i do that you will see model is created so here let's say i want to access the name so it will be model dot name model dot name you will see it is model you can also rename it while you are doing automation stuff see, this is a get or uh, set a property so you can just tell hello model whatever you want so you will see this model is here uh, this model is renamed so if you want to delete it you can just type model dot delete this is also a function it returns nothing and you will see the model is deleted and we had the static structural right to access it you can just go to model dot analysis first index let me assign it to some variable like ss1 ss1 is nothing but static structural one so let me clear it let's see what ss1 contains ss1 is a singular analysis before i go to singular analysis as you can see in this uh, analysis object which is our uh, ss1 we, you see you have this uh, physics type analysis type right let's go through this and then we will dig into individual uh, objects right so let's say i am in geometry and i just want to activate it first let me activate it so this also function returns nothing you will see static structure is activated so activated means it's selected okay you may be somewhere here so if you just click on uh, activate you this will be selected now uh, to access this physics type this is important because let's say you are running a loop or you have given a conditional statement in which if analysis name is so and so or analysis type is uh, static structural or model so in that case it will be analysis dot uh, physics type will be mechanical all the analysis within this mechanical will be mechanical physics type so but there is one more thing which is analysis type which is very useful so you will see it is giving a static but if you remember uh, we added a model analysis right so it was uh, where where is model model dot add add model analysis it will add a model analysis and i just want to type the analysis type so if you see this will this created this first function will create since it returned a model analysis and then from there analysis type so it's giving model i have not assigned this to anything so i can just go and click on right click and delete but if you don't want that you can just go to model dot uh, maybe get children get children and then here data model object category dot analysis come on true 
so everything under this model analysis will be coming as you can see i am getting a list of this so i will access the uh, second element which is index one dot delete this way i should be able to delete yeah it deleted it so now we were in ss1 right okay yeah ss1 which is our first static structural analysis so let's see what what are the things you can access so analysis type and physics type we have seen so let's say you want to access this analysis setting so this will be analysis setting so ansys analysis setting uh, if you want to access through children you will see you will see a lot of things first you got an ansys analysis setting and then solution so under this tree you and or let's say ss1 considering ss1 as a parent you have two children analysis setting and solution under solution again you will have solution information so that way you can go through all the children and what else you can do now coming to this once you click on static structure and go to that specific environment you will see you can add initial loads all the loads force moment pressure supports fixed frictionless remote displacement bolt pretension and what else we have we use bearing loads hydrostatic pressure so all this can be added through this ss1 so let's go one by one i will go in alphabetical order so first is add acceleration it's a return you will see it will add acceleration you can also add earth gravity earth gravity add earth gravity earth gravity is also added and similarly you can add loads like ss1 dot add fix support fix support it's a function returns a fixed support we will go through this one by one fixed support is nothing we don't have to cover this once you add a fixed support you assign it to variable in geometry you can pass uh, a face or a body so you know all this selection info we have seen in the past but force uh, force pressure and moment needs a detailed video because if i type add force you will see geometry is easier but you will see magnitude and sometimes you might add components and this components you have to add and if you have time step for example if i go to analysis setting and number of steps i make it two then in force again you you need to send a tabular data right so time one force time two force so those things will be covered in that force pressure video so you have to send input in terms of seconds like input will be zero second what you want as initial inertial initial force or the initial load then for time uh, next time step one what should be the load and two so and so on so whatever you are seeing is what you have chosen here for example if i select two this is the one and then one this is the one so we will check that in force and moment uh, videos and then you can add remote displacement as well for s1 dot remote displacement add remote displacement here you will get all the remote points you can give some displacement value to that remote point or face or whatever you want and then children's we have seen get children so for example within this uh, analysis you want to access all the forces available so you can just type ss1 dot get children and here here why data model is not coming okay data model object category and then you want to uh, search for all the force and then recursive will be true because you want to let's say you have grouped certain forces into one folder if you give true it will loop through all the force all the folders and then it will give you all the list so here you will see i have all the I mean, uh, within the analysis setting, it will give all the forces. So I have only one force, so it's coming as force. Then you can access that force and you can rename it, add multiple forces or whatever you want. Now coming to data model object category, if you type SS1, you will see it's giving, uh, okay, so this, this ANSYS ACT Automation Mechanical is assembly. Under this, you have a namespace, which is ANSYS ACT Automation Mechanical. So both are same in this case. And then under that, you have a class analysis, right? So here SS1 dot data model object category, you will get analysis. So this is the same thing which you give here, data model object category dot force. So if you access this first one, and then here, uh, this will return a list, 
then I will access the first index and then I will type data model object category. Then you will see it is the same force. This force is something which you pass here data model object category dot force. So this is the enum and it has a lot of uh, enum fields. Then, then we have seen in the past ss1.geodata which is the geometry wrapper then we have ss1.mesh data which is the mesh wrapper and then yeah and few things that are very useful like where is the static structural analysis located in my system so you can just pass ss1.working directory you will see this is in my d drive youtube folder and ccct uh, this is uh, this is the folder contact file dp0 i have only one analysis so it's dp0 then sys1 one analysis system and then mechanical so this is the path of this analysis file so if you run a solution you will be seeing under this folder there is one more more called as ss1 dot get path this path is different than the working path this path is something you can say it's a tree path for example uh, it's a function so you have to pass parenthesis you will see this is project model static structure so this is the tree product model static structure so this is the tree path you can say and then you have ss1.get type so it will be just analysis i believe yeah this is the whole i mean name including the namespace then you have ss1.solution to access this solution then from solution you can access the solution information from solution information we will also access solve.out file which is very useful for debugging and to solve this analysis as you see right click solve so we will go to ss1.solve now it's a function and you will see it has failed because it says invalid geometry nothing is assigned and then from here you can also clear the generated data so it's clear generated data and you will see this analysis is created so this was high level overview of analysis plural and analysis singular in coming videos we will see how to add this initial loads then in one more video we will see the loads we will have a bold print a separate dedicated video for bold pretension and pairing loads because in pairing load as you know you need to give this worksheet there is also a worksheet kind of thing where you can pass all these values and one more is there okay we will check this later uh, there are other loads as well where we give entire stiffness yeah i think it's somewhere in, in springs or something so i think that's all on this analysis part in next video we will be seeing either inertial or loads or support and if you have liked this video please hit a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you soon thank you